love bugs is rousing back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed today i'm doing blessed and highly favored and i definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and for my returning subs my extended family thank you so much for the kind vibes the beautiful loving vibes you sent out to the world and especially to me in return of me doing the same for you it is so greatly appreciated it is very welcome and thank you for those blessings it is all greatly appreciated and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming for you and if you have been watching my videos for a while and you have not yet hit that notification button it, I mean, hit hit the, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification button so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And or if it's just about your psychic, you know, your psychic or I said psychic, your empathic gift, even your psychic abilities, whatever. <laughs> I would love a chance to get to know you about know know that about you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you know you just want to tell me what's on your mind today. It's all greatly appreciated as long as it's positive. Or if you feel like, you know, it puts you in a good mood and it really opened your eyes to something, spread the word, spread the love. Give me a share, thumbs up. It is all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you can be able to relate and resonate with something in the video. And today I am listening to this peaceful music. Oh my gosh, it is so peaceful. It feels like I'm in a Calgon bath, y'all. It's attract positive energy, pure, clean, healing, vibration, meditation, music, inner peace. I'll post that link in the description box below. It's very beautiful. It has this, I don't know, it's light, like, and they're going like this, and it's very beautiful. So if you like meditating and stuff like that, you know, you need to clear your vibes and stuff like that. It's a good feeling when you can have that peaceful vibe, you know, falling through you and stuff around you. But yeah, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths do not block your blessings. Empaths do not block your blessings. You know, there's so many times we can go through stuff. And y'all know what I'm talking about. It can go on in the workforce, especially at work. Or you know you got to pray. <laughs> you gotta pray, you gotta do something, say Hail Marys before you go to the job. You know, I've been there, I've done that. Y'all, it got to that point. I mean, where shoot, I even went and hit the blunt before I even went to work. Y'all know I ain't, uh -uh, I'm not playing, I ain't got no shame in my game. Because if it was just to keep me from laying hands on somebody or cussing somebody out, I would do, do something just to, you know, just to say, okay, I'm not dealing with this today. But it's just that we need to let go of things. And I mean, it is so hard to do sometimes. And I understand. Be like, girl, what are you talking about? You don't know this, this, and this, and this, and that. And I understand. I don't know your struggles, but I understand. I've been there. I've been there. So it's just there can be so many times you can have good things going on for you. And my mom used to always tell me this. And I still hear her say it at times, too. Where um, you, my mom would say, you can sit up here. And be holding on to things if you want to. And there's going to be so many people going to pass you up. You're going to be seeing people getting blessed left and right. And you're going to be mad. But the only person you can be mad at is yourself. Because when we hold on to things and we get mad, you know, it, it, it's just, it's not doing nothing except hurting ourselves. And, you know, and it's just like when you're bitter, sometimes we can be bitter and we can take it out on everybody else. And that's not fair to anybody else because you know what that feels like when, you know, you're just singled out and you're just like, Dag, now, out of all people, why would they come up and say this to me? Or, you know, and that's just some people, we, it, it is hard to do. But I have to tell myself a lot of times when things happen, don't take it personal. Do not take it personal. And that's hard to do sometimes, but we have to really put ourselves in that mindset. Do not take it personal. Because normal people don't go around doing stuff like that. They're hurting too. Because when they have to go out their way, to just just be ugly you know and I had people that used to you know it, it was like that was their personal agenda like I had a boss like that at my job when I mean when she found out the truth about me and who I was related to and stuff like that she envied that and for her to 
be able to break me for me to be able to have to tell everybody my business and which I didn't even give her that time of day she would it was like she had a lesson plan on trying to sit up here and see how she can be able to break me that day how can she be able to irritate me and get up under my skin that day and I had to basically look at it like you have to be so flattered for somebody to have to take time out <laughs> To want to go ahead and irritate you. That lets you know that they are on your mind. You are on their mind. I'm telling you. When you have people that go out their way to constantly do stuff like that to you. They take a personal interest in you. Because they oppose you as a threat. And when people oppose you as a threat. They will do stuff. Vindictive stuff to you. And I had to, I had to really... I know I'm on point because I know it's your life crazy because you know you know what I'm talking about. You have been there at that point, especially with Hey Okas. We get the jobs. We trying to figure out why y'all got these stupid rules. Like, you know, why we got to do this when it could just be it, it's simply this. Or, you know, we always got that, you know, because Chantel, you know I'm talking about, girl. <laughs> Yeah, she was talking about, I mean, when I, I look at y'all, and I mean, I'm not saying the situation's funny because I laugh because I've been in a situation like that. I done lost many of jobs because I don't voice my opinion too daggone much. People didn't like me. Like, when I come in the room, they were like, oh, Lord, here this heifer come again. We can't deal with it. And, you know, I, I see they do that about my dad, too, because you know you going to say something. You might not like it. But it's that pill called truth, and a lot of people don't like that. That's why I feel like I don't want to work up under nobody. But if I had, you know, if I had to do it, then that's fine. You know, you have to do what you got to do. But if I had my choice, I'd rather have my own business because I know I wouldn't be dealing with drama. That he say, she say, that favoritism. I ain't got time for all that because I feel like everybody put their pants one leg at a time. We all pee the same kind of way. If you do some extra short and extra ordinary stuff that I don't know about please inform me <laughs> please inform me but there are some people that are out there will take a personal interest in you and that should you know you put that self and you put yourself in that mindset like you ought to be flattered even though it can be annoying at times you should be flattered because that person took that special interest out just to aggravate you that day or they probably do it every day just to try to get at you and sometimes you probably gotta knock them into that reality like you know, I know you take this personal interest to me like that, but can you, like, like tone it down a little bit, you know, because it's not, I don't know what you're trying to get out of this. You know, sometimes you probably have to talk to people because, you know, there's some people that will try to steal your identity and stuff like that. It's crazy. You know, people start dressing like you couldn't, you know, I had a time where I had this special lipstick that I like, the purple one. People would try to exact, what color is that? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just because the fact is, I didn't want to come back to work tomorrow and see that you had that. Because I already see the air, hairstyle you done stole from me. Now I got to worry about this too. I don't need no walking around carbon copy of me. <laughs> and I used to have to see that a lot. And it would be just funny because people that know me, they know incidents. I, you know, they done had to come back and tell me. I'm like, and that was a scary thought. You know, I had a single white female thing going on and it was crazy. But it's just like we just cannot block our blessings with other people's problems. You know, because, you know, some people will bring their problems over to us. And it's just like, you know, sometimes it's like my friends like, you can talk to me about stuff and I'll be like that too. But it's just like, out of us, we don't want our burdens to be somebody else's problems. You know, burden that somebody else with that. You know, even though it's good to vent or whatever, but just put yourself in a positive mode. Don't block your blessings. You know, when you have situations that's going on, I'm just trying to give you a positive, you know, a comical mindset about it. When you go through stuff like that, think about that. Because when you need your job, you know you need your job. You know, there's a time and a place to voice your opinion without having to worry about, is this going to cost me my job? Because trust me, I've been there, done that. <laughs> been there and I've done that. So do not block your blessings being ugly towards somebody don't block your blessings trying to get revenge because truth be told when people go out like that it'll eventually come back to them anyway trust it i know sometimes we be like Medea, i want to get god right now god be taking too long but we can't be on that we can't be on that we got to be patient for things and that's why i have to tell myself every day 
Don't block your blessings. Be patient on things. People eventually see the truth when it comes to you. People eventually gravitate towards you and see that they're going to see the same things that you see. You know, it's going to be, you know, patience is a virtue. And I know that sometimes that's hard to do. I know that's hard to do, especially with us hell, because I'm a Taurus. <laughs> there is no patience in my bloodstream. But I had, you know what, I had to practice and grow from it and heal and you will too so i hope you are able to you know me i get the rambling and i start talking but you know you'll you'll get it if you get it you'll get something out of it so i hope you are able to get something out of it <laughs> so i will talk to you later like and subscribe even hit that notification bell and i will see you on my next video know that there is always somebody praying out there for your best interest to you to be a better version of yourself be, you are loved and you are blessed and stay prosperous. Spread out as much love and positive vibes as possible. And I will see you later. Peace and be wild.